Well, hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I wanted to go ahead and do a devotional with you. Let's break open the Bible and let's look together at what God has for us, right? Uh, I wanted to take a look in the book of Habakkuk today. And, and if you know, that's what's called one of the minor prophets. And it's called a minor prophet simply because the book is small. It's three, three chapters long, um, really short. And uh, God has this conversation with uh, Habakkuk in the book. And, and basically God's explaining to Habakkuk that Israel sinned against him and they're going to suffer a punishment for it. And so Habakkuk is asking for mercy through all of it. And, and that is so much the way God deals with us. When we've done something wrong, when we knowingly went against what God asked us to do or willingly did what he told us not to do, whichever it is, uh, we just, we know we got it coming. I mean, God is a loving father and he says that he disciplines those he loves. So what's our attitude? Well, Habakkuk just had some, some what the Bible calls judgment laid out um, in front of him, saying that God is going to make times hard for the people of Israel in various ways. And I'm not going to go all the way into that. But here is Habakkuk's response at the end. And this is what I think is gold, okay? So let's take a look at it. Habakkuk 3.17 says this, Even though the fig trees have no blossoms, and there are no grapes on the vines, even though the olive crop fails, and the fields lie empty and barren, even though the flocks die in the fields and the cattle barns are empty, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the Lord Sorry, in the God of my salvation. The sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes me as sure-footed as a deer able to tread upon the heights. So right there, Habakkuk saying, guys, God's pouring out the punishment that we've earned. That there's hard times coming. That, that you know, the crops are going to fail and, and the cattle we got is gone. And for a an agricultural society... Man, you're you're talking about destitution. But still, I just love how he says this at the end. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. The sovereign Lord is my strength. Guys, whatever we've done to earn punishment, because sometimes the consequences come. God has grace on us. We are... For those who have accepted him, guys, we know we're going to heaven in the end. We we, get, we escape the greatest consequence of our sins um, with that. But it doesn't mean we escape all the consequences of sin. You know, if I punch somebody, the odds are really good I'm going to punch back. There's natural consequences that come. And sometimes God tweaks things a little bit so that it's a punishment that comes and corrects us. And that's always the thing, is that God's trying to correct us. But even when there's hard times coming because God is correcting us, you know, we need to have this attitude right here. I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. The sovereign Lord is my strength. Guys, he'll, he'll get us through it. Even though he's the one bringing some discipline in our lives sometimes, he will still lead us through it every step of the way with us, helping us, loving us. And so, I just want to encourage you to go ahead and look to Him. No matter what your circumstances are, even if you royally deserve whatever it is that you're in, or if you've done nothing at all to deserve what you're in, either way, guys, look to God for your strength. Look to Him, and He will pull you through, I promise. That's all I had for today. Uh, I love you guys. I'll see you next time.